Attention citizens, this is an Omega-1 priority alert. Potentially disruptive non-conformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your home until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. I love her. Hey, it's my mom. Machine. Hey. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Fascinating. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. All right, Dad. Two in one? Ow. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Mom! Dad! No! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. How did they not notice? Looks like the coast is clear. Great! Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? Okay, what do I do then? He's not yeah. coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Your mom. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well he did that too. Yeah, you've inspired him alright. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. Ha 
one second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past. Amazing. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ha ha! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Leave! Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Great loading. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Yeah, you were standing there. Uh-huh. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow belly stool? Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspire me with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. And Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper. <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to. Go inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. All right. Let's go. Oh my god, just so slow. Sonny! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Yeah. Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. 
I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Yeah, well, we make a lot of mistakes when we're not seeing straight. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Social utility? Since when do you care about... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. What day is it? Why, it's opening day! The opening day of the expo! Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay! Catch you around, Crockett! October 12th! Doc? Um... Hints, I must hit, look at hints. Wait. No, no, let me go back to hints. Why is camera horrible like this? Why is camera horrible like this? Why is camera horrible like this? No mind. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late! The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date, yeah? That should have been a tip-off. Something is horribly wrong with the doesn't. time circuits. And the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out Impossible. of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. Well, I hope it does. Arty. You were right. There she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh! I'll talk to her. Exactly. You'd better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone- Hey you! Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Good luck! Talk to this stupid person. Spell it! B-R-O-W-N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love... Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting-edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward-thinking community. And yet, 
You want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Crockett! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh... Have you seen Emmett? Um... Um... Uh... Yeah, just now, in the town square. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Well, you know, those gut instincts are important. If you disliked him right off the bat, Oh, but I didn't know him then. Now I know him inside and out. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Crockett, but I can take care of myself. No, I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Hey, Artie! Officer! Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Guy. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight! Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! You got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. Yeah, because you were drunk, you don't remember. I'm not sure if I've learned everything I can from Edna. Well? I talked to her. And? She says she knows what she's looking for, and it's you. But it can't be me. It wasn't me. Marty, we don't belong together. You don't have to tell me that. Find out exactly what her requirements are. I can almost guarantee you that I don't fit them. Okay. Let's go back. How long is how how much longer is this gonna take? Ahem. <clears throat> you said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Crockett, you know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Uh... What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an 
absolutely revolutionary invention. It's Measures a person's a affinities, what he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course. What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girl's, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. You say you know Emmett as a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in this time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. He just happens to be your husband. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. <laughs> settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Crockett. Rather hard for me to picture when he's makes my heart. That's uh, I... very well then. Okay. Oh, hey, Trixie. Hey, Artie. You seen my Orioli? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Alright, so let's go back to the DeLorean and talk to Doc. Oh. Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn, she's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need any help? So, what do we do about Edna? Only one thing we can do. Lie. Make me out to be a less desirable catch than I really am. Why would she believe me? She said she knows you inside and out. Then you'll have to resort to skullduggery. You've done it before. You gotta be getting good at it by now. Yeah, I guess I am. Uh. Edna doesn't seem to care much for Trixie Trotter. She never could get past the fact that Trixie had been Kid Tannen's maw. Okay. Hints. <laughs> Alright, uh, Trixie, where did you go? How big is this map? Pretty small. I don't know where Trixie is, so I'm, gu I'm guessing I need- alright, there's Trixie. <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. 
So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Yeah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Um, listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Artie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's gotta resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. What a crap name. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Um. See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonder. Oh, sure. Right, so now I talk to Edna. Okay, sprint there. Ahem. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Crockett? What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume. She's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. Oh, these people are impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. How about you? Have you got any questions Ooh, for me? Lag. Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! Trixie again. To all. What's cooking? Ideas. Up here. Um. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going. I'm not asking any. <laughs> so. Uh uh. Just amused. Okay. Um. So, Artie's working for the expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell! The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. 
How's kids' trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing. It's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning him in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with him in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Um. What's Artie's job? Oh, he's a real high muckety muck at the expo. He's in charge of all the money and the hiring and firing. Hey, not bad. You're telling me, and super respectable too. It's a